Mmm. Perfectly chewy. Oh, these are nice. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today, we're back for another cookie video. There are so many versions of different like types of cookies out there. Today, we're gonna be doing a red velvet cookie. The recipe that I'm using in this video is actually from Cupcake Gemma's um, YouTube channel. I really love that channel. It's just so satisfying, it's soothing, it's just therapeutic, I'm just, I don't know, I love watching her just bake and her team as well, so definitely recommend checking out that channel and yeah, I've always like followed a lot of her recipes. This one's definitely kind of like different to my other cookie recipes and the ingredients are a little different as well, so I'm excited to see how this will turn out and how it will taste and also how it will look because these are red velvet. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Maybe it's easier if you guys see what ingredients you need first. So I've got um, half dark cocoa powder and half just normal milk cocoa powder that you usually use in milkshakes because I find that the dark one's really strong and I don't really like it when it's really strong. So I've got 12.5 grams of each. Um, then I've got 200 grams of white chocolate. The recipe says like over 400 grams, but this is all I've got and this is what I'm going to use. But I've chopped the milky bar into like smaller pieces so they're evenly distributed. You're obviously going to need some red food colouring. This is food colouring paste. I then have two eggs and one egg yolk. I've got 160 grams of soft um, light brown sugar, 160 grams of caster sugar. This is 475 grams of plain flour. The recipe says we need three teaspoons of baking powder but I've only got this much so this is what I'm going to be using. Um, obviously I'm going to need some salt and then finally 230 grams of soft room temperature butter so you're gonna need your whisk obviously um i don't have a paddle whisk so i'm just gonna do what i have trying to make sure not to over mix the the, the mixture so you're gonna need your butter first and we're just gonna cream this that's just to kind of like soften it up a little bit and now you want to add in both your sugars Then we're going to add in our white chocolate chips. Okay, just put this to the side. In a separate bowl, we're just going to put our flour, our cocoa powder, and our baking powder. And we're just going to give this a good mix. And then bring back our bowl here. We're just going to put our flour in. I kind of wish that I put the, the chocolate chips last. I don't know why like the recipe says to put them before, but anyways, at least I'll know for next time. In a separate bowl, I'm just gonna mix in our egg. I actually got this really nice fancy vanilla extract, um, so I'm hoping it'll be nice. So they say one tablespoon, a teaspoon of red food coloring, which is way more concentrated by the way pretty like a bean size amount i'm just gonna whisk this up this is really red if you can and then can put this in here if these stay in your hands so I'm just gonna use my hands to mix up the dough and the recipe does say to freeze these I really don't think I'm gonna do that I don't first I don't have space in my freezer but if you do you can like store these and then just cook them whenever you want but I think I'm just gonna make these now in the oven because I did it with my tiny bear cookies without put them, putting them in the fridge. And it turned out pretty okay. Just trying to evenly mix this mixture. Okay, I would say I'm quite happy with that. It tastes bloody amazing. So I'm just going to make these really big chunky balls. I'm going to try and space them out as much as possible in case they do spread out too much because I didn't freeze them. Okay, that's four there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I made nine cookies. They're not equal sizes, but we'll see how these turn out. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius with a fan oven for 14 to 15 minutes. Okay, these are what the cookies look like. I've just taken them out of the oven and they look pretty good to me. They don't look like exactly in, you know, Gemma's video. Um, I think it would help to have them in the freezer. And I think next time I do it, I probably will to see the difference, but they seem to have kept their shape really well. They're really red. This is definitely different to what I usually do. You can see like the chocolate chips here. I'm just gonna let these cool down for like 30 minutes or so before trying them. So they can continue to like cook inside a little bit. Okay guys, it's now taste test time. Here is a close up of my cookie. Obviously they don't look as pretty. We need to do a break. That's super red. I'm really happy with the color of it. It's red. Oh my god, the consistency is amazing. Got some more chocolate there. They actually taste really nice. I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna go enjoy a whole one. I have filmed so much today, like it's insane. If I had to compare these to the Tanya Burr cookies that I tried, I think I prefer the Tanya Burr ones way more because the taste is better. I could actually stick to using the dark cocoa instead in this one. The consistency and the chewiness of these is like amazing, but the taste, it's really nice, but I prefer the Tanya Burr ones. Um, but I'm pretty sure everyone will love these in the house. Not only do they look really good, they taste yummy, but the Tanya Burr ones taste even yummier. I think I would rate these like an eight out of 10 personally, but they're still really good. Um, I just wanna go and like eat one and watch my Netflix now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go guys. The kitchen is being wanted. People wanna use the kitchen and I've used it all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little baking video. If you do recreate these, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I do wanna see them and do check out Gemma's um, recipe in the info box and the video as well. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a like and I will see you in my next video. I'm out of breath. Do I have cookie in my teeth? No. Mm. Perfectly chewy. Oh, these are nice. I'll definitely try and freeze them next time and I'll put an update in the info box if I ever do.